Let us pray. Father, we just want to thank you for this beautiful hour. Lord, speak to us. Bless us through this world. And especially those who are going to hear this one in every other part of the world. Lord, God in heaven, speak to every one of us. Because we don't want to be selfish. This is a message from you. Now we know that everyone that called to be of the kingdom, they are going to make heaven need to listen to for perfection of your service in our life. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. And amen. Yes, I'm talking uh, the about title call service. We have different types of services. But I'm talking about the one called is asking everyone that are ways of our Lord Jesus Christ crucifixion for their sin to patiently connect with this and for you to be able to achieve the goal of God in our life. We know God's God Almighty, the Creator, is demanding for a service for every woman. But a lot of people rejected, a lot of people still, you know, embrace and believe and walk within, especially when instruction comes to them from God's world. And if you are not aware, you need to note this message is very important for every one of us to understand the service God requires from us. And this will take me to the book of Genesis chapter 1, chapter 17, verse 1. Genesis chapter 17, verse 1. And when Abraham, Abraham, when Abraham was 90 years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am the Almighty God, walk before me and be thou perfect. That is the service required from him. That is the service God plays upon him that he need to subject to, he need to follow. And indeed, because of his obedience to all God's services, that is what gave her to me and you. This is where the actual light of the kingdom of God came to every believer. Abraham was obey God. That's what he to say. And it was counted unto him as righteous. Listen to this very careful. The service, God is asking you in need every power of his kingdom to be resting in fullness upon you. Get it? Then you will be able to live to perfection, heaven, you will not lose. This is very important. I want you to hear what Romans says, chapter 12, verse 1. It was Paul that is speaking here. He said, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that ye present your body a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God. We is your reasonable service. Can you hear what he said? That is your reasonable service. Presenting yourself. Not make yourself to be a different thing from what God make you to be. Let me tell you something. There are a lot of people who are devoting themselves. You need to listen to this. This is very important. God make you to be a man. You are a man indeed. There is no place where it's been written in the scripture that a man can appear like a woman. You know, it's not. When you make you to be a woman, he creates you as a woman. Hallelujah. Then you need to go back to the foundation of the creation. You will see that God firstly created Adam and he said, it is not good for Adam to be alone. And he made 
a woman, not a man like him, a woman for him. You know, when devil wanting to destroy life, there is a spirit that will come to mental reasoning and we deform you to begin to like what is evil. Okay, for example, if you look at uh, Genesis chapter 3, evil, even though Eve know what the truth is, they've been living in that truth for a period of time. Until when this ever come? Serpent have to change a mental reasoning to wrong reasoning. Makes her to look at what is good for destruction to what? Out of the good ways of life. Get Try to understand what I'm saying here. If you look at what the serpent said, the Bible made us understand. That is why you need to think about this. Because most of people that do wrong, they have that peace in that evil. The power of seducing introduction of that evil, when it rested on them, they don't believe in anything called right anymore. Every explanation you give to them will come to them because they've been captured by the devil. Hear this, verse 6. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, can you hear that? A dead, something that is dead, not look good for consumption. Imagine. Something that will lead you to internal condemnation. Now look so precious. And that is how it looks exactly to those who have been destroyed. Devil will block their rightful understanding. If you are in type of that category, I lose you by the power that's in the name of Jesus Christ. The truth of the light of this message will get to you. I command them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The actual light that speak to me, that is asking me to release this message, will you use in any situation that is wrong before God, and you'll be able to serve God rightfully in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want you to listen. And that uh, it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wife. She took of the fruit thereof and she did eat. Not only her, also to her husband with her. And he did eat. That changed everything. That is what brought out the situation that we have today. You know, I discovered that every wrong service leads to destruction. We can see what happened in the White House. Everybody who understand it. Wrong step. We lose some policemen there. Uh, the fire that people that God might be using for different type of things for tomorrow, they were killed. And they just died. Why? When they've been compelled to eat wrong, make them to look at what is right, to be as if it's evil. And that's seducing. That message come. And they believe this. They strongly agree with it. And they were walking toward it. Can you imagine them? It's when wrong be introduced to you, then you're going to find yourself in the situations that's so bad. That's so bad. And this service will not be acceptable before God. No. God does not want you to live your life according to wrong ways of you know, the mental reasons of introduction of satanic. And that is why you see different type of things happening on the world today. A lot of things calling people out of the righteousness to destruction. I listened to a man, 
is preaching. He's trying to let people know what is happening. This happened in Nigeria. I watched it on the YouTube. Somebody sent it to me. This man went to a church in Nigeria. That is in the southern part of Nigeria. Everybody in that church was using brand new jeep. But he didn't understand. He has an old residence. And they saw that he had been coming constantly. I want you to listen to this. To let you know what is happening on the heart. And when they saw that he was coming. They preached Jesus in the altar. They tell people about Jesus. Good doctrine of the gospel. And they now call him. When we saw that, you know, you've been coming with him. These are all the banks. Do you like Jim? Say, yes, I love Jim. Do you want Jim? Say, yes, I love Jim. And then I introduce him to basement. Just like when God opened the eyes of the prophet Ezekiel. And they told him there is one father down there. It's an image. All you need to do is to go and bow and tell him what you want. So, you know, when we say you are praying, they tell him when you are praying, it's going to take long. But this one is making it faster. You're going to see Jeep will come. Guess what is going to happen? When she got there, and she now discovered that, in as much he make a covenant with this idol, the idol will take one of his child. And that we turn to Jeep for him. As soon as the child died, the money for the Jeep will just appear. Praise God. Is that the service God is calling you to do? Is that the service God is to present to you? Because the service God is required from you is what is going to keep you to live like God forever you will live like God this world is not harsh we have limited time to stay here and that is why from beginning the children of God to those that know God even right from the Israelites they be hammering the truth in which they received the truth which they received They've been, you know, pronouncing it to their children as we teach our children today. You know, if you look at Exodus chapter 13, Exodus chapter 13, verse 5, and it shall come, and, um, and it shall be when the Lord shall bring thee into the land of Canaanite, and the is and Amorite, and the Hittites and Jebusites, which he swore unto thy father to give thee a land flowing with milk and honey. Thou shalt keep these service in this month. It's a requirement, foundation to follow, to lift up the name of the Lord, to walk according. To the will of God for perfection of his righteousness might be established in us. You know, I so much love uh, where God is taking out in the first Corinthians chapter 15. First Corinthians chapter 15. This is very, very powerful. And everybody can need to listen to this. This is very very, very, very powerful. You got to listen to this. First Corinthians chapter 15. Verse, I'm starting from verse 51. Behold, say, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. Hear that clearly. But we shall all change. In a moment, in the timber of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. Hear that word very well. And we shall be changed. 
for these corruptible must put on incorruptible and this mortal must put on immortal lady verse 54 so then this corruptible shall have put on incorruptible and this mortal shall have put on immortality then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written there swallow up a victory hallelujah you know your service before God made to be poor and this is what is going to happen to the saint when we are talking of corruptible body and corruptible what is talking about well, the, the, the said uh, uh, the dead the dead shall be raised incorruptible the dead shall be raised incorruptible he said they is dead are not going to rise to this flesh hallelujah you are not going to rise to this flesh because when Jesus Christ resurrected he didn't rise in the flesh hallelujah that corruptible body is gone is a sample of resurrection to every humanity he appeared the flesh is gone and also if you look at verse 53 of first Corinthians 15 for this corruptible must put on incorruptible hallelujah it will be transformed to heavenly you know ordained spirit like God hallelujah we look we come to the level of angelic of the body that they carry not flesh body hallelujah and these mortal must put on immortality this mortal you know the flesh we call it mortal okay then it's going to put on immortality immortality is not built by hand hallelujah because the scripture bid us all understand in chapter 2 genesis for seven God used his hand to be with man and he prayed into it. That is mortality. Hallelujah. So, but it's going to go out of the corruptible will not reign. But to those who have good service, establish themselves for these incorruptible. Hallelujah. For those who have the good service, that obedient to God, you are qualified for the incorruptible in the day of resurrection. And then once you are not qualified, just know you go to hell. Um, one thing I want to say is this. We need to be very, very careful. God called my attention to one thing. I know a lot of people are going to be mad with the bodies. He said, I should look at the type of services people are calling, the men of God are calling. How many of them is calling your attention to what you are hearing now? That's one of the two. How many of them are giving you detailed explanation about sin that show you the actual truth of the kingdom. Their beginning is not like that. God is telling me to tell you. They've used to lost their life. And they don't want their lost their life to be what? To be low than to go higher. One thing you don't know is the Bible says it's the gift of God without repentance. The anointing that you see is a gift. It's from God. God allowed people to do whatever they want to do. I'll give you an example. If you look at that, the, 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 the elderly prophet and the young prophet, the elderly deceived the young one. That is who God has condemned. And it's still the same person that he heard the voice of God to tell the young one because he has misopened. This, uh, he, he has he has to obey the instruction of God. He got it to, to get his clear. And that doesn't mean that person is not in the God. 
Because gift is not taking anybody to the kingdom of God. I prophesy a lot. I do a lot of healing a lot. But I don't look at it as a key of a righteousness. I examine myself. I'm not trying to tell you that I'm okay. Because I'm still running. I myself am still running. But I don't want you to lose the actual truth that will connect you to the kingdom of God. Because nothing you have in this world that you will go with. You to think about it. Have you seen someone that died that go with the house, go with the car? I saw something in, in, in Nigeria, in eastern part of Nigeria. Um, a guy died, a young man died, and they bury him with his messy veins. You know, it's stupid. They waste the money. They waste the resources. Because the car is going to decay right in the grave there, and the bone is going to decay and just mess up everything over there. It's stupid. How is he going to ride the car? From the grave? Let him start the car and start moving under the ground or how? I don't I can't get it. Get understanding. You got me to come back to God. Don't let the things of this world hold you back from God. Render a good service. If you're a man of God, you are listening to what I'm saying. I don't really care of what you think about me. What I'm caring about your own soul, the judgment that is waiting for you, the people that come around you, what is the truth you are sharing with them? Are you actually show them the truth of the kingdom of God? What will you tell God when you close your eyes out of this world? Or if you die, the day of resurrection, then to give your account, what will you tell God? Do you think what you are doing now is a key to eternity tell the people what is right reveal the heart of god to them the bible has already revealed everything to us it said let no man deceive you no unrighteous thing will enter therein get that understanding if you learn the things of this world that is not going to be buried with you, make you to turn back to truth in revealing the truth to people and tell them what they want to hear. I'm sorry to say this. I don't care what anybody going to do to me. I think it's exactly what they do with this president. So called men of God. Giving him a mind of force. Giving him force uh, a prophecy. And they, until they been the man to become an arrogance to truth of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. God will have mercy upon you all in the precious name of Jesus Christ. I'm not trying to intimidate anybody. We can need to render a good service. This is what God is asking you for. This is what God is asking from you. Are you rendering a good service to God? If you close your eyes right now, what do you think is going to be your result? Do you think angels are coming to take you? Or you are going to remain on this uh, on the day of the judgment? Rise and let us pray. I want you to rise in your field and let us pray. Let us pray.